We're gonna test out my new gloves that our veterinarian told me to get for when I'm dealing with crazy stuff like this. It's a, I think it's a black racer, so these guys don't really hurt bad if you grab them. But um, I still don't like getting bit. And they must on you, which is like essentially them pooping on you. And that's the worst smelling stuff in the world. So we're gonna go see Lucy. Oh, I thought she had it in her mouth. We're just gonna get you out of here so the dogs don't eat you. So this is actually this is the black rat snake. So these guys normally won't bite. They're not super mean. He's just trying to be defensive right now. So God, I've never seen one this small. He is adorable. Oh my god. Watch out, girl. I absolutely love these snakes. Like they, they are like the, the coolest snakes in the world. They're like tame as soon as they're born. It's ridiculous. And you just want to be super gentle with them, keep them well supported. And non-venomous, if I didn't say that before, this is a non-venomous snake. If he bites me, I'll wash it really well. But I just want to get out of here because the dogs are going crazy. Wanting to get to him. So all the stuff that you see in these videos and stuff where people say, oh, non-venomous snakes have round eyelids and look at the shape of the head, that's not true. Assume all snakes are venomous unless you know for a 100% chance that it is the snake you think it is. So this is a black rat snake. I know it's a black rat snake. He does have the round pupils right now, but in the right lighting, they might look like cat eyes. He's very relaxed right now. He's chill. He's just like, dude, it's a nice day. So what we're actually gonna do is just take him out in the woods. You don't wanna squeeze him, but I don't want my dogs or cats to kill him. So I'm gonna take him down. We actually, the pot belly pig pen is the best spot for these guys because they just kind of slither on out into the woods. But these are very nice snakes, good beneficial snakes. A lot of people say don't kill a black snake, they'll eat um, other snakes. This is a black, oh, this is a black rat snake. These guys don't really eat other snakes. Buddy, I'm trying to handle you as gently as possible. And on the farm, these gloves are priceless. They wouldn't do anything for a venomous snake, but they are nice for these non-venomous snakes. Just if you don't want to get stinky hands and the bites are like really hard velcro going across your skin they're not not harmful they're not gonna kill you or anything but they're not comfortable they're not fun i don't like it and it's kind of gross in there these guys will go up and nest and eat baby squirrels they'll eat baby birds as they get bigger they'll eat eggs and uh pretty much opportunistic frogs mice rats anything they can get a hold of and they're what's known as a collier bread. Collier breads. Oh, he just tagged me there. Birds. The gloves work. Buddy, are you getting angry? I think he's getting kind of mad. Bubba. But I can't even, it's just mainly his head hitting my hand, is it? We just about do. And you can see that's totally normal. It looks like he actually just might have eaten some uh, something in his stomach right there but we're just about to a safe zone. So I'm just gonna let you guys see him probably bite me. But we're just gonna be real gentle and calm. There he goes. And it's just kind of like Velcro. Go on. Go on, Bubba. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little bit of patterning on the bottom of his body. And if you look at his lip, the base of his lip is white. And if you look at his head, his head looks like an arrow to me. So, oh no, Bubba, he's so angry. He's so mad. He's so, so mad. There she is. But you're gonna be free now and away from the dogs. So, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how we relocate a snake. If I didn't have these gloves, I would just uh, use a stick 
to gently move him. I would not advise anybody else to, to mess with snakes unless you're 100% positive of what kind of snake it is. I knew for certain what kind of snake he was, was the only reason I was willing to do it. And like I said, if you do touch them, um, that musk is really hard to get off. It just, I'm more worried about the smell that they leave on me than I am the bite. The smell is awful, um, especially with older ones. But this guy's gonna head out into the woods, right? I don't know why I jump still. I cannot stop jumping. You're going the wrong way, dude. You're going the complete wrong way. Okay, no, that's the right way. Keep going that way. Keep going that way. There's wire there, dude. There's wire. There's wire. There's wire. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? And don't tease the snakes. But yeah, you can see even if you look at his tail, if you watch. Watch his tail, see if you can get his tail. Can you zoom in on his tail? What's up, Bubba? What's up, Bubba? You'll see his tail's gonna start flicking here in a second. And what they're doing is they're trying to move the leaves and brush around them. And either one, appear like a rattlesnake, or two, they're trying to look bigger, sound bigger, make more noise, sound bigger, and scare whatever's after them away. And they do that by, they do that by the, um, their tail. This guy, like I said, totally harmless. So many people kill these snakes. They are no different than a lizard, the little green lizards that you see running around. Those little green lizards will bite you also. Um, the bites are almost don't hurt at all if they bite you. The smaller ones will bite. I pick up the bigger ones very easily. They, the big uh, black rat snakes normally don't ever bite. But if you see them, just leave them alone. They're gonna be gone after a while. If they're in one of your pens, like this guy was, uh, my dogs were going after it, so I went over there to grab it. If you're 100% positive, you know what kind of snake it is, these gloves work great. Or just use a stick and kinda shoo it away. A water hose is really what's best if you can reach a hose out there and just spray it with a water hose until it leaves your yard or leaves your area. That's what's best. I didn't have access to a hose where we were. But yeah, just a quick little video for you guys just to show you some of the, the fun wildlife that we have on the farm. We never kill snakes. I did have to kill two rattlesnakes one time to be a hypocrite, but I couldn't get them out of where they were safely. So we did have to shoot them because they were in the center of the goat pen and I couldn't relocate 31 goats quick enough. So to make sure that my goats didn't go back down there and then get bit, I did have to shoot them in the head from a safe distance is the safest way to shoot a rattlesnake or shoot a snake if you do have to kill one. You don't wanna get bit. Most people get bit from trying to kill them or trying to mess with them, but these guys are very, very friendly. Now we are actually about to feed him Josh's cat, Josh's beloved cat. So are you ready, Rose? Are you ready, girl? I'm kidding. I love this cat more than I love life. Go on, girl. She would actually eat the snake, not vice versa. But, yep, he's safe. He's, uh, he's in the female alpaca pen now, and he'll push on out to these woods right here and be good to go. So thank you guys, and that was awesome. See y'all later.